Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Terraria Let's Play. And I have done a couple things. Um, I'm in the base because a goblin army is going to attack and it's our first post-plantera goblin army. So I'm not quite sure what to expect. But as you can see, I've got a new set of armor. I, may, I went back and farmed Chlorophyte and I went back into the dungeon and died many times um, to get the... Wow, what was in here that we killed? To get the um, ectoplasm. So we've got our new armor. Um, this armor basically... Where? We're down here. Okay, this armor basically has magic damage and critical damage. And it also um, hurls some orbs at nearby enemies. And we do just insane damage. We're also getting... Arden the wizard. Yeah, that's fine. I figured he would die. Get these spiky balls. Um, so I've been trying to farm up some stuff for us here. Hey, can you... Can you not? Goblin summoner is what's killing us, really. Alright. Hey. Alright, this goblin summoner is, a. Uh, Annoying the crap out of me. Get over here, you. Alright. Godly Shadow Flame Knife. Melee damage. Again, another one. Alright, we're going down here. Ow. He's just sending everything our way. Did you actually break the door? Stop that. Oh my god. Yeah, go in the lava. What in the world? This is... This is intense. I'll look at that knife in a minute. I think that's a melee weapon, but I can't... I'm having trouble. And they just keep summoning those summoners. Goblin army has been defeated. That was quick. <laughs> Alright, and but you guys won't get the heck out of here. And I am going to take down this summoner. It's the last thing I do. Get over here. You are in my arena now, summoner. Alright, you drop anything? I know I'm in the lava. Yes, I know. Alright, cool. Baron the wizard has arrived. Alright. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> Baron the wizard has died. It, why? Why would he go down there? Did you drop anything? Alright, well our wizard is dead and that is A-OK. -okay. okay, let's take a look at what we've got. I've got a couple things. So I've got this dropped. Oh dang. Just shooting knives everywhere. Okay. I've also got, uh, oh this dropped. Infernal Fork. This does a ton of damage but the problem is you need to aim. <laughs> so wherever it hits, it just explodes into a Pardon the wizard. It explodes into a fernery of inferno of fire and does a ton of damage right there. So I've got that on us. Now is the wizard in his spot? Um I've also done a couple things. I made the menacing celestial emblem. That many menacing celestial emblem, emblem um, takes our celestial magnet, combines an extra Avenger item, because I have ours in here, and makes this. So we do damage and pick up the mana stars from a distance. So that's pretty good. Um, I also found a truffle worm, so that we are ready to take on Duke Fishron when we're ready. That's what summons him. Um, but I gotta show you what else I found. This. Prismatic Lacewing. I don't know for certain, because I haven't gone and checked. But I think this is what, uh, summons... Gosh, what's her name? Summons, um... Uh... Empress of Light. So we'll see. And then I made a Lava Proof Bug Net, uh, just because I... I'm trying to farm more truffle worms. 
So I wasn't going to record, but because the goblin army showed up, I decided I would hit I would hit record. But I've been down here just farming truffle worms. Uh, I've only got one of them. And the truffle worms are what is used to summon Duke Fishron, which we're going to be farming Duke Fishron once I know that we can kill him. Um, snail. The snail. The truffle worms. I might create a mushroom biome above ground to get our mushroom guy to move in. Oh, 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 I see you, the little truffle worm. Come here. All right, we've got two Duke fish round attempts. Just running around. You can see I've dug my tunnels down here just to try to get the get the worms to go. And because this weapon is amazing, but it kills everything. So I'm trying to get to the truffle worms fast when they show up. Bum bum. Truffle worms. So this is what I've been doing for a little while. Um, I far like I said, I farmed the jungle, then farmed the dungeon. Oh, I should show you the new weapon. I mean, the laser is kind of new, but this inferno weapon is pretty sick. Here, we'll kill this guy. <laughs> and also, you'll notice our armor sen sometimes sends out a... Uh, that ladybug. Sometimes send out an orb to kill things. See all those like white orbs that are were flying everywhere? That's from our armor. Though well, we're killing things so fast right now, it's uh a little ridiculous. See all the <laughs> I think we're a little overpowered. Which I don't mind. It's okay that we're overpowered. I actually find being overpowered uh, makes the game fun for me because I feel like we're doing something. Get that just normal worm out the way. Man, if I had a... Um, if I had a arena ready for Duke F Fishron, we could probably take him on today, but I gotta figure out what the best way hmm, what the best way to fight him is as a as a mage. I think we're in pretty good uh, pretty good standing, so I don't think he will give us too much trouble. I just, I don't know the fight well enough. To be like confident going in because I've never fought him before. And uh, this armor uh, and these weapons are. <laughs> We're good. And with our celestial emblem. Although we don't have. We don't even have our other emblem on. So. <laughs> so imagine 15% plus 4% more damage, basically. Uh, if we were to get, because on the other other emblem we have uh, actually defense, I believe, yeah. So if we were to get more damage on that, ooh, 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 ooh. I see you, I see you, I see you. Where'd you go? Drowning. Can't escape me, truffle worm. All right, we've got three attempts at Duke Fishron now, and I don't think he's one that you have to like do at a certain time of day. I know Empress of Light, um, it's a mimic up there. Empress of Light, if you do her at night, that's her easy version. If you during her, if you do her at, during the day, you get one shot. <laughs> uh, but if you do her during the day, um, she also drops the best weapons in the game. Terra Prisma. Which... I don't know. I've never gotten- I've never fought her either, so I don't know 
just how difficult it is. I've watched videos on her and she looks pretty like bullet hell. We'll see. We shall see. Um, I was thinking of making the pinnacle of our mage tower that we built. Mushroom biome. Wouldn't it be cool if it was all like dark and glowy and stuff? But that I gotta figure out how to make uh, fake biomes. There's a certain number of blocks and stuff that need to be in it. So I need to look into that. So I might work on that too. Kill you because you're in our way. Ooh, 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 I see you. I see you, little fella. Get down there. Where do you go? Down here. Here I come to get you. Alright, we got four attempts. Right? Yeah, because I got one upstairs too. Get this normal snail. Upstairs. I got one, uh. in our boss summon chest that I made. Great. Uh, we're probably going to need quite a few attempts because there's quite a few things that I need. I, well, we don't need, but I want to get off of Duke Fishron. So I, we've been fairly lucky throughout our playthrough and I'm assuming that at some point that luck is going to run out <laughs> and we'll have to like farm a boss a lot. I mean, even Wall of Flesh, we, we didn't farm him too much. It was quite a bit though, so what is this? A map? Let me go get that. Missing trifold map. Okay. Um, so I made the specter mask if you make the specter hood you actually oh i see a truffle worm over there you actually get a ball that comes out and doesn't damage thing but it heals you well it heals the most um okay this worm needs to get out of here don't you kill my truffle it heals the most damaged player nearby and if you're on a single player world that, that i mean that's going to be you but i i went for the damage one instead of the healy one The damage ones actually, you saw it almost one shot that mob down there. Alright, let's try to get one more truffle worm. Then I will feel satisfied. Because we can always come here and farm these later. We got a pretty good setup here. And if we set up some fake biomes, it would be even better. But. I'm not sure if we're gonna- Oh, here you are. Here you are. Did they up the uh, spawn rates of these, or am I just- Oh god, be careful, be careful. Am I just getting lucky? I have to go down here. Did I get him, or no? Oh. No, I got him, right? Or did he die? It didn't pop up. He died. Got him. How many did we have? Now I lost count. We have four in our inventory, so that means we've got five total. Five shots at Duke Fishron. Hopefully he doesn't kill us over and over again. Oh, well, I guess we're done. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Hey, dude. Um, Ice rod. You know, now that we've killed Plantera, doesn't... Uh, the people at the jungle sell something different as well. Let's go check them out. Uh, okay. Witch doctor, don't you sell something different? Um. No, I thought you sold something from the tiki spirit. 
Maybe some of these. Okay. Well, I know that we also want to um, farm the hollow. Because I still am looking for the key. That's one thing I didn't find yet. Is the hollow key. So we can come out here and kind of do that. Do that this way. I don't want to too close to our jungle. And we can look for more Empress of Light summons as well. The, her, she's probably going to take us a few tries. Maybe more than a few. Because bullet hell bosses, I'm not great at. Alright, the hollow key would be very, very nice. Please. Oh, here, 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 here. Don't kill her. Prismatic lace wing. That's another Empress of Light thing, I think. Be very careful not to kill those, because I am not ready to fight her out here. And I'll have to research her a little bit, because I don't even know if you can fight her um, outside of the hollow. We'll definitely need all night to fight her. Violent megaphone? Alright, I'm gonna delete the snail. So that we have room in our inventory in case the key falls. Because the last thing I would want for it is for it to sit on the ground. <laughs> and for us to not realize that it dropped. Hey, can you hit this guy? Bum, 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 bum. A lot of people will set up underground um, farms for th these keys. I don't mind doing this sort of thing. Our hollow is very far spread on the surface. So I don't mind. I don't mind doing it this way. Oh, 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 oh! Come here. Gotcha. All right. Got a couple of attempts now at Empress of Light. I think that's what those are. Watch it not even be the summoning item for her. I could go get a water candle to make enemies appear more often as well. Um, but we're doing pretty good with our enemies. Sure, are killing things fast around here. Sniped. Um. So I hu I hunt up the crystal serpent because this obviously. It's gonna do much more damage than the Crystal Serpent and kind of acts similar to it. So right now I'm using Crystal or um, Shadow Beam Staff, this Infernal Fork. I'm still gonna use the uh, Meteor one. Hit her. Get back here, you. Um, just because the Meteor one is, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Um, but I, I like keeping an assortment of weapons, too, and not relying just on one. So many of those prismatic lace wings. I really hope those are what summons Empress of Light. Because it would be really cool to sort of end off this series killing Emper daytime Empress of Light. I don't know if that's what we're actually going to be able to do, because, again, I'm not that great of a player um, but if we could that would be amazing oh this is a magic weapon I don't need stone I don't need mud I don't need these arrows what does this do <laughs> it's just throwing a weapon <laughs> all right well cool He's trapped in there. Somehow took damage. But not quite sure how that worked. 
rid of these bombs too, just to clear out some stuff in our inventory. All right, still no key. Thus, the uh, eternal farm begins. We're getting a lot of good stuff now. Off of it, a lot of butterflies for really what I mean. Too bad these pixie dusts we don't really need for much. We could try to be actually doing this in the uh, underground hollow for mimic potential. But I think you can actually make mimics by putting a certain key into a chest. At least hollow ones. I've done that before. I did that with my summoner. No keys, still. Let's heal up just in case. And we could be here for hours trying to get this dumb key to drop. I tell you what, if it doesn't drop, like, um, while I'm trying to farm, probably it probably won't drop this episode, but and if it doesn't drop while I'm trying to farm off, off screen, um, I'll set up an underground hollow farm so that we can also potentially get mimics. Um, I don't know what magic weapon drops off hollow mimics. I know there's a good bow that drops off of it. The Daedalus Storm Bow. I don't know if there's a magic weapon, per se. I heard twinkling over here. So much pixie dust. Unicorn horns. Uh, what are you shooting at down here? That's a thing. No keys, right? No. No key yet. Yeah, so next episode, what I'll do is I'll set up our um, boss arena. I'll figure out what strategy I want to try. Um, there's one with teleporters that might be kind of good. Uh, especially with this weapon that shoots kind of straight. Um, there's also one with... Uh, there's a couple with teleporters. There's one with just a long... Elon um, arena that goes back and forth so I don't know we'll try maybe try one of the cheese ones or we might just we're on easy so we're on easy and we're overpowered so maybe we'll try just doing it I guess quote-unquote normal Miss, miss, miss. There we go. It would help if we had good aim. I guess we could go down here. See what our underground situation looks like. Hi, unicorn. Where would we set one up? I'd want to go down to the underground, make sure that we are, should we do underground or cavern? I'm watching on the side where, what they 
level we're at here. Caverns. Okay. Maybe we can get to a little cave here. I see a tree down there, so that might be a good place to... And is that a gold pile? It is. Cool. And what's all this? Uh, I want to keep the spiky balls. Don't need the pumpkin. Don't need the clay. Don't need the cobwebs. Don't need pearl sand. Don't need tungsten. Alright, let's get this gold that's sitting here. Alright, um, what if we cleared this out? Did a little, uh... Actually, can I put pearl stone block here? Huh? I see that rock right there, trying to get at us. Let's just clear out a little area here. What's this? Active stone block? We could get a water candle and put it down here so that bad guys will spawn. I picked up a bunch of water candles uh, while we were up and about in the dungeon. Let's dig, let's dig this way too and open it up out to this. Here's the underground hollow. Oh, maybe we should just go out here. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of you, the granite. I said get rid of the granite. Alright. Yeah, I gotta watch for keys. Get rid of dirt. that spaghetti we got, we got spaghetti man Some spaghetti all right get rid of the worm um got two megaphones so let's get rid of one of those might have been doing better on the on the surface but at least we're getting souls of light down here as well. What do we just fill all this stuff up with? More cobwebs. Get rid of stone. Get rid of active stone. There. Now this is still, um, this is still hollow, so, because we're still getting souls of light. So it can still spawn here. Let's open this up. Do whatever farming we can out here. We're gonna have tons of souls of light when we're done with all this. Any keys? We're still... Get out of here. should really go back and empty stuff and then come back down here. Don't need these. Okay. There's no keys on the ground. Hey dude. Uh, actually, can we sell some stuff to you? Like, um... You want this thing? Traveling merchant, huh? And, uh, you want these? 
And how about some um, pearl stone blocks? And uh, you want this map because I have one upstairs? Got 46 gold on us. No key up there, right? That's a glow stick. Get rid of the glow stick, get rid of the blink root, get rid of the cobwebs. Alright. Well, that's how I'm getting granite blocks in me. Those granite golems drop them. Might as well just keep a stack in there so that we... Man, I was really hoping, like, a part of me was really hoping, like, yeah, we'll get the key. It won't be absolutely hard like it was for my summoner to get, <laughs> to get the frost key. I guess hollow keys, man. Alright, well, um, I'll keep farming that. I'm gonna do that until we get the, uh, hollow key. And then, once we get the hollow key, I'll go and get the, the, uh, rainbow gun. It's a rainbow gun that I'm trying to get out of the dungeon. Um, but we did get a ton of stuff. Yeah, fell down here. Uh, we did get a ton of stuff to summon some bosses. So, uh, we will most likely take on Duke Fishron um, in the next episode. So I need, I've got a couple things I want to do. I ran out of places to put stuff, so I also want to... Um, Maybe, hmm. how can I expand this to put more weapons that I don't use in here? Maybe down here. What if we do like, uh, dig all this stuff out? And then it would give me more room for uh, fighting Mothra when that happens again. With the solar eclipse. Come down here put a bunch of stuff down here and on the other side too fast for me. Got one to replace right there. Let's just replace this here. Uh oh, hey unicorn. If you drop the key, that would be fantastic. I just want you to know that. <laughs> okay. He's not going to. Alright. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and end there. I'll get all sorted out and we'll get ready for Duke Fish Run next episode. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Terraria Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.